Today, everyone, I'm Dave. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit more multimeters and really about pricing. And the biggest point that we want to get across to everyone is you do not need high expensive tools to get into tool repair. Regardless of what kind of funds you have available, even some of the cheapest gear will more than adequately do the job that we're trying to get done. If you look at multimeters, for example, here is one I just recently bought. Picked that one up for $4.99, taxes, shipping, everything included. This one I've had kicking around for a long time. You can tell it's had a bit of abuse. And if I recall correctly, I paid about $75 when I originally bought that one. If we look at measurement, we're gonna take a standard battery, which is 1.5 volts, and let's just measure it on the expensive one. And sure enough, there we are, 1.5. We're gonna drop it to a lower scale to give even more accuracy. And there you go, 1.519. Now we're gonna try on our cheapie. And let's see what we're reading. 1.50, and let's drop it down. Let's see what happens at the lower level. 1.506. You can tell there is a difference in reading, but the question is, how accurate do we really need it? 1.5, those that first decimal, is more than powerful enough. For most things, what we're trying to do is actually just measure whether or not we have any power coming in whatsoever, and you're either going to have zero or you're going to have a, a number close to whatever, whether it's a battery at 18 volts or 12 volts, or you're using AC. So the question now becomes, which one do you buy? and why. With the El Cheap ones, you'll notice a lot of differences. The cables are very thin. They're not super duper flexible. The connectors here are quite thin. They routinely break, they're not super strong. The case itself is very light. There's not a whole lot of strength to it. Quite often the way they do these inside as well, if I have this on the wrong scale and put too much power into it, you can quite often blow them just because the way they work, the way they measure versus some of the more electronic digital ones. With the more expensive one, of course, you've got more flexible ability in the wire. If I'm outside in the cold, this one will have no problem working in the cold whatsoever. The wires won't crack. Whereas the cheap one, I'm blowing the bed if I'm out there in the sub-zeros. It wouldn't take long before that plastic starts cracking. Same thing with the displays and everything else. So, yes, the better quality one will last, will do the job a lot better. But if you're just getting started, you don't need to have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of test gear and everything else. Larry, your 499 multimeter will do everything you need. And then as you build up more money and start selling tools and putting tool money into your pocket, or start repairing tools and end up saving yourself from having to buy tools. If you want to upgrade to something more accurate, feel free to do so. It's a personal choice. It's sort of like, do you want to buy a BMW or do you want to buy a Ford? They both have their pros, they both have their cons. So hopefully that gives you some encouragement to get into some tool repairs. Don't be afraid to buy some of the cheap items. Um, this one at $4.99, I couldn't even believe myself it was that cheap and I fully anticipated this one would basically work, but I figured as we start going down a lower scale, it would be off. It wasn't. Don't let money prevent you from getting into tool repairs. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, if you have any thoughts, any preferences yourself, how about leaving them in the comment section below? Let everyone learn from your own experiences. And when you get into repairing tools, please visit us at eoplacementparts.com to find some of your diagrams for your tool as well as part lists and parts.